new map, new whatever the word numeric something order. We got them in order, man. They in order. We got the one, the black color, the one, the Jordan one. The two is my only other Jordan two that I got in my collection. The classic Weissman three. You can see there's a lace on that one, but that was on display. So it's still, it's still made me not want to wear it. I really love wearing those shoes. We got the fire red fours. We got the fire red fives. We got the uh, Carmine sixes. And I don't have the Cardinal sevens, which I would have liked to put right there. But for now, we got my favorite other white shoe, which is the Jordan 11 Concord, man. Moving on up, up here. We're going to pull all these shoes out for y'all, man. Starting y'all with something nice. Just look at the bottom of them shoes. That is a beautiful bottom. Look at the bottom. I, that's the reason I want to wear this shoe. I love wearing all my shoes. That's the reason I want to wear this shoe because that bottom is just so clean. It's so nice to look at. We have this beautiful, beautiful LS shoe. I'm almost close to completing all the LS forwards. I need three more. I need the I need the Legend Blues. I need the Oreos and I need the Lightnings. And I will have all. Is there another one? I think there might be like a premium uh like leather all leather one but i can't remember but i almost have all the lifestyle floors we have this nice cameraman get that we have this nice velcro pack that comes off on here we have the jump man the flight and then we have the let's say jordan rare air on here man so that's pretty dope i actually want the rare air laser for you i should have got them from this buyer he was selling a nice condition pair for around 250 and i don't know why i didn't buy them man maybe i don't know people be coming to me and selling me rare shoes and where times where it'd be like Shoes, especially like a rare Air Four. I'm not gonna wear that shoe because there's a chance of it cracking. So it be people be hitting me with shoes like that in times where I don't really want to spend money on a shoe that I can't wear, and I'm looking for shoes that I can wear. I think I ended up buying, I ended up buying something probably up here with that 250 instead of buying that shoe, which I probably should have brought that shoe because that's gonna be hard to get back. Anyways, and moving on, another shoe with a cool story, man. I ended up having this shoe before. I brought this shoe for fifteen dollars from my homie. He had a pair of fire red, raging bull fire, not the all red five, not a custom raging bull five for fifteen dollars. I brought them from my homie. He basically just said, "Man, just give me fifteen dollars." And he ordered arm for one of them, but like you know, what I'm saying, look out for me, giving fifteen dollars. I get that man fifteen dollars, man. I cleaned the shoe up, and they were in cool condition to wear for a little bit, especially early on in my collecting days, man. I didn't really care about like what they looked like. It's just the shoe that I had the shoe. I wanted the shoe, and I had the shoe. Those were a size ten. I'm a size eleven and a half, y'all. You know? Those were so small and hate hurt my feet so much, y'all. I just couldn't. I had to sell them. I sold them later on now on live Zoom Fest. I got my size, size 11 and a half, which is too big. <laughs> These are too big. I think suede material shoes fit different than leather shoes because I have other 11 and a half Jordan 5s and they don't fit like this. Like the Quay 54s are a size 11 and a half and they don't fit as roomy. When I put this shoe on, it's just so much room on the interior of the shoe. It's wearable, but I have to wear like, I have to get like a sole shield to this. Cause the, the suede just creasing up when I walk and all that. It looks flimsy, it looks bad, but hey man, I got them. I need to give me some sole shields to these, uh, keep that uh, the toe the toe stiff while I walk and I'll be cool, man. But really adore and love this red suede shoe, man. Very, very dope, put black laces on mine and a replacement lace like I can see mine is silver. A little different from y'all. Moving on, man, a shoe that I always love to show and we gonna take our time with all these shoes up here and give y'all a nice little story. We got the OG Flint 13th. If y'all haven't, matter of fact, we, if you haven't seen my review on these, go watch an in-depth review about this shoe and the 2020. If y'all wanna go watch that, go watch it. I'm not gonna hold you up for two months longer on this video. Go watch it. I'm gonna link it somewhere where y'all can go see the OGs, man. OG thing, go watch it. Moving on, I'm gonna hit y'all with my two favorite Jordan 4s in my collection. And that's saying something considering that probably, the Jordan 4 is probably my second strongest my second strongest silhouette, I would say, out of my all my shoes. The fours are probably my second strongest silhouettes behind maybe, yeah, maybe the ones is probably the strongest are the most high, they're the most expensive. But we got my two favorites, man. We got the bread, the OG, my favorite shoe ever. If I had to choose one shoe to live the rest of life of wearing with, it would be this shoe right here. And then we have the Jordan 4 Lightning. So we have the Jordan 4 Lightnings, man. These grew on me. I actually ordered this shoe in the LS4 at the same exact time on the same day. They came in on the same day. And I ended up liking this shoe more. I restored this shoe myself. I repainted the shoe myself. So it does have that little connection with me. And me and this shoe put in some work to get it back to wearable condition. And I don't know, just the yellow laces I added in here with the yellow midsole against the black, a, pla a classic play on a classic colorway, uh, black and yellow on a, my favorite silhouette. It just does it for me, man. I don't know. This is slowly, slowly, but, sh but surely becoming one of my favorite Jordan 4s. 
This is definitely probably my second in my collection. I have never owned or seen a pair of Lightnings in hand. I haven't had a pair of Travis Scott's. I haven't had any of the lasers. I haven't had any of like any PEs. But as of now, as of ones that I've owned, this is definitely my second favorite Jordan 4. There's a close one I'm, we're going to get to up there. That's probably number three, but this is definitely number two as of right now. Anyways, man, we got another shoe, the last of the black shelves, man. We got another rare shoe, a lot of shoes that a lot of people probably never seen or don't ever have. We have the Jordan 14 UNC. Now, this is a used pair. This is an older pair. Y'all can see the marks and all the scrubs and scouts on there, man. But it's okay to have OG pair of shoes or OB pair of shoes, even on display shoes that you can't wear no more. It's because, it, one, I like the shoes of the colorway. I wanted to have one of these in my collection by any means necessary, whether it was a beat up pair, a pair that's unwearable, or a dash lock pair, which I could have somewhere in the future. I wanted a pair of these shoes because these are just L. These are sick. I'm not the hugest fan of 14s, but when I am, I'm all for the colorway. I'm not the biggest fan of this silhouette. So when I actually do like a colorway, it's like I gotta have it. Like I want the DBs, I want the gingers, I want the cinders. Like those colorways are just dope. And this shoe is moving on, man, to all the hype beat stuff, man. All the stuff that y'all probably even seen from the beginning of the video of me teasing y'all. We're going to get into all the shoes we have up here. Some of these shoes y'all seen me have before. I did reviews on like the reverse breads. Y'all see me with those. I'm not going to do a review. I'm never going to pull that out. That's the reverse breads. I got that on gold or, or I didn't get retail for that dope shoe. I got a review up on that. Y'all want to go watch that? Go watch that. This one. Hold on. Let me take a little drink for this one. Ah, oh, I ain't gonna lie, that burnt my throat a little bit. Oh, all right, uh, anyways, we got the Jordan 2s, man. These are definitely, to me, the most underrated Jordan DB. Now, not to say it's the best DB or it's the most... Uh, I don't know. I think underrated and sub done are the same things because people who respect the shoe respect the shoe But I feel like it's the most underrated because not enough people put respect on the shoe When we bring up DBs, we say DB sixes. We say DB eights. A lot of people like the threes. A lot of people like the A lot of people like the of course the fours the you know, like that is the go-to DB Nobody talks about the twos. No one talks about the twos or brings up the twos as their favorite DB and honestly in cases of DB and what a DB is meant to be, a, a a wacky, weird, different shoe created by a kid and created by a, a young person, or I think it's by young people who are who are hospitalized by something and they're given the opportunity to show their creativity through a shoe or a silhouette. They're assigned a silhouette or they get a silhouette or a shoe and they do whatever their minds and creativity can create. And that's what I like to do. I like to create videos and whatever I, sporadic idea I could come up to entertain and put it in the art of a video. That's what they did on the shoe. That's why I appreciate this. This is just different, man. This young man who did this shoe did his work. Look at this shoe. You can feel all the wrinkles in between, all the little slippers in there. You can actually feel that. It's like some sick, super dope. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. You just can't explain this. This material right here is something I've never seen before. It's like, it's like, like if you were to doodle in class on a super sick green paper, this would be it. We got this nice suede on here, which is super soft. I wish this were like a newer shoe or maybe like a younger shoe where that suede was still super buttery. You can see mine is old, but it's still so, so buttery on there, man. I put red laces in there to accent the red on the tongue with the S, but these are just super, super, super dope, man. The young man who did this shoe did his thing there. Look at that bottom. It's just... We got that Boston colorway going on down there, man. Super dope shoe, man. And if y'all do not have a pair, man, try to look in again a pair. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm in I'm in loss of words. Moving on, man. We have another DB that I actually got from the co-owner on the channel, man. Shout out to the boy DJ. If you're watching this, man. And now, little thing funny was going on right here. Now, y'all, peep this. I just realized that my back of my head looked like an alien and my little brother who's recording didn't tell me. To explain this, I have long hair, y'all. Yeah, I have a ponytail. So there's nothing weird going on. I just got a long hair. So before we start roasting me, don't. Anyways, man, moving on. Doughboy, DJ, I got you on this trait, man. We ended up doing the swap. I ended up hitting for two pairs. Of oh, you know what? I did not get the shoe for retail. I got the shoe for resale. I actually paid 250 for this shoe but i ended up hitting on the side at first 
I hear on the size eight and I hear on the size seven and a half, the money size. Y'all know if y'all cut uh, your resale shoes, that's the money size to hit out here in the US. So I ended up paying on the size seven and a half on release day for retail. At the time, I had in my account on Gulp was so where I didn't have to take pictures of the shoes to sell it. So I sold it to the next highest bidder the day of. Like I sold it for like like four fifty or something like that, something like absurd. And then like I was just waiting on the shoes to come for me to ship them off. And I went to my man's house. And he's like, yo, I got these dope shoes. You ever seen the DB3s? He showed me them. I'm like, yo. I'm like, there is no way I'm leaving this room without these shoes. I'm like, how much you want? He like, I think he was DJ with Ice like 450, uh, 390 at the time. I'm like, man, heck no, I ain't finna eat $400 right now. I'm like, man, I got these ones, man, in the size seven and a half, the money size. I just give you the money from that. So basically, like, I only pay 175 for the DBs. You get $400. We both cool. He like, bro, bet. So I paid $175 for this shoe. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shoe. Don't worry about it being fake, y'all. It's gold purchase, gold authenticated, all the above. Super, super dope shoe. I love this shoe with a passion. I really do love this shoe. Oh, like I said, I like red shoes. I'm I'm getting into red shoes. I like the Jordan 3 silhouette, and this one is just different. The material, the 3M on the side. We got this different all red cement print, elephant print, uh, Jordan on the back, and then we got the name, the Dorn Baker on the inside, man. Just a dope shoe, man. Just a dope shoe. Moving on, man. I'm gonna try to cut this story as short as I can for it to be a long story, but I made me and my two little brothers walk in the middle of the night at six, four o'clock in the morning for me to purchase this shoe. Not this is action, not this is act one that I have in my hand, but the Jordan 6 DB. It was literally three o'clock in the morning. I'm up in the middle of the night licking the shoes, fantasizing. And I go, you know what shoe I always wanted to buy? I never have the Doran Becker 6. So I go up on Groat and I go subject to the shoes and it's a pair up for $220. And I could not believe my eyes with the box. OG all was in from the pictures it was in good condition for two hundred dollars. There was no way in the world you were going to convince me to wait until tomorrow to attempt to purchase that shoe. I woke my brother up. I said, "Get up! We are walking to the ATM." Told my other little brother, "If you want to come, come along." I told my dad, "Dad, I am leaving. I have to get these shoes." Right of this shoe is just beautiful. That beautiful quilted material is so soft. And honestly, this and the DB twos are two are the two most comfortable shoes I've ever worn in my life. When you look at this insole, this silk insole with the Jordan that stitched in there, man, it's just a beautiful shoe. On the other side, it's just all the way in there. Beautiful. That interior is all quilted. And soft, nice golden material on there. Now we got what what time is it on the other side? It says game time. If you guys, some guys just don't understand this shoe. Maybe that's why it's so underrated. Some people have never probably seen this shoe. That's why it's so underrated. And then a 2019 or 2018 release, it's like eight hundred dollars. So this is the OG box. Moving on, man. I'm gonna throw both of these shoes in the same boat because they both fit in the same stagger. I'm dropping everything today, man. Golly. So they both fit in the same boat to me because they're in like the same kind of like realm of what I would depict them as. And we got the DB9. Y'all can see this pair is beat up. This pair is used. But this is a display shoe. So like I said, it's okay. Y'all can see I got heat. I got the I got heat. But then again, I got beat. I got shoes that are beat up, used up, worn out, yelled up. I got regular stuff too, y'all. Obtainable shoes too. But this shoe I keep. And I like because, one, because it's worn in, two, because it's just, it's dope. White with brown with gold, translucent outsole, a little bit of black. It still looks nice on feet. It's one of them shoes where it might look big if I hold the hand. When I throw these on feet, they actually do look cool, especially me like walking down the block, you wouldn't notice that they that beat up. And then we got the DB7, man. Let me put the nine down. Let me put the nine down. Beautiful shoe. Dope shoe. Whatever this material is, is dope. I don't know what the heck it is. I don't know how to explain it. It's like some sick. It's like, I don't know. Like if you put black oil on the back of a black girl's neck and then wash it off with like soap and laundry detergent. And then it made this weird mixture of black girl neck oil sauce. And then you put it on the shoe. That's what like, I don't know. It's the only way I can explain it. Then we got like the little guy on it. You feel me? He playing his guitar, rocking out, jamming out. He got the sevens on. I don't know what these words say here. I feel like mine are too. I don't know. 
don't know what the heck that says, but dope shoe. We got the little guitar pick right here on the toe. And on the inside, it says, just play, have fun. I think that says, I think I said just play. I got a tag in it that's covering up. Yep, just play, have fun on the inside of that thing, man. And at the end of the day, that's what it's really all about, man. Have fun, enjoy life, smile, laugh, love. Quit hating. Stop being a hater. If you're a hater, click off my channel because I don't like haters. If you're a happy, loving person, you just want to live life and just love shoes and just collect, and we all could just live life, man. Just be happy. Simple. It's a choice. You can be happy by choice. Moving on, that's all the DBs in my collection as of now. I still need the eights, which are obtainable. I'm dropping everything. Moving on to the stuff that I know y'all probably want to see. We got the bronze on deck, man. Another beautiful, beautiful shoe, if you ask me. This shoe's probably going to stay. I will wear this shoe, hopefully when the lakers win a championship this year if the lakers win a chip this year i'm gonna give me a brand new bron jersey i'm gonna throw these joints on feet and i'm running around the city and i'm talking the most crap that's what i'm waiting i'm really waiting to wait the shoes either to a lakers game if the lakers don't win the championship this year it's all fine it's all cool i'm gonna wear these shoes next year to the lakers i'm gonna take the money go buy a lakers game hopefully maybe i don't know lakers versus i live in sf so maybe versus golden state something like that now i would go wear these shoes but i'm waiting on a special occasion to wear these These are still dead stock but simply put these are beautiful uh, now we gotta move into the high beat stuff man we're gonna skip the high beat stuff for now i'm, I'm gonna make y'all wait a little bit man. we're gonna go all the way up top we go all the way up top to man to my most recent pickup the most recent shoe i've purchased in my collection the one of the rarest shoes i have in my collection one of the shoes that if you don't have this shoe in your hand in eyes you won't appreciate it that much we have the mist blue force one of the ls pack this came out in oh oh this is actually oh six i thought this came out in oh four but just uh just the the different the differences the differenceness of this shoe is so dope on a regular jordan 4 you can see on the uh the eyelets or the aglets or the wings or whatever this is like a plastic material that's glued on this is here and this is glued on you can see on older pairs or like this like the mars 4 and stuff like that this will break off this one right here this will never break off that's stitched in that material is stitched in there and that plastic part is stitched into this on the back we see we have the jump man on our nike air which is like a plastic part they probably shaved in there or glued on there. i don't know how they do that but this one that is a that's like a gelatin mushy thing that they stitch into the back of the shoe very 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 dope very very unique when it comes to Ford. i think that's actually on i don't know if it's on all the ls Ford. i know the the thunders have a plastic tab but on the back of the tour they have the same thing with that jump man that different jump man that's stitched back in there i don't know how many of the jordan fours or threes or how many of the silhouettes have that feature but that is so dope to me it's like i don't know it's like jello or something and then the colorway these are better than a cool gray to me because this is a cool gray just cooler we got the baby blues with the yellow goes great with like an old school lakers jersey man the yellow, yellow against the i mean the blue against the yellow on the inside super dope very very rare and hard to find in a condition like this without the midsole back being all crumbled up and messed up very very dope going to be on display for a long time moving on man before i get to my last two hype beast shoes we have one of my favorite shoes in the collection and we have the shanghai father shoe that's only released i think it was in I think it was in Shanghai. I think these were only released in Shanghai. I can't remember the exact history behind it. If y'all do know, make sure y'all comment that. But we have the Jordan 5 Shanghai's, man. These are super, super dope. The material is basic Jordan brand material. We got that nice, cool, soft, buttery uh, new buck or dura buck. I don't know what y'all want me to call this. We have the Shanghai emblem on the back, which is probably the best part of the shoe and the most standout part of the shoe. The insoles, which I will pull out for you. Which one has the nice insole? Let me pull out my other one. On the insoles, y'all can see, we used to have the, the same emblem that we have right here on the shoe, but that's faded out. And we have the speckled, sick insole. It's kind of like on the inside of a DB6. Uh, I mean, on the DB8, if you guys have ever held a DB8, you guys know exactly what I mean. But the insoles on here are pretty, pretty dope. Really love and appreciate this shoe, man. It's just so dope. I thought your laces in. I think I had a thing for yellow laces, man. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I have a thing for yellow shoelaces on, on black and white. And I mean, on black and yellow shoes. Black and yellow shoes with yellow shoelaces, just do it. These are super dope. Hard to find. These are very hard to find in my actual size. This is a size 10 and a half, which I can't fit. I'm a true size and new buck. I would prefer a size 11, 
but these fit just fine so finding these in a size 11 is it's going to be rough finding these in my size but everyone to get a size 11 is going to be rough hopefully i can find somebody looking for a trade if you do have an authentic pair of a size 11 and you would like to trade hit me up man i would like i would like my actual true size moving on man to the thing that everybody want me to show man the thing that everybody loves the thing that everybody want the overrated now nah, i'm just kidding man we got the shattered backboards on deck fan favorite worn in shoe which is just how i like it with a shoe like this i don't want to feel bad about throwing a shoe on feet i could have spent a couple of extra hundred dollars to get a pair of a of a dead stock or a very near dead stock but i don't want to feel bad for putting on the shoe i would feel bad if i put that shoe on because it's so clean i would feel bad if i put that shoe on because it's so clean but this one i have no problem throwing this on feet and going out to go on and look nice throwing on with an outfit i actually show y'all my hood I'll show you my hoodie. I got to go with this. Just pick this up. We got the Naruto hoodie on deck. That boy throwing the Sharingan and all the above with the with the shattered backwards. Can't wait to put that on. Maybe with some cargo pants. But these are dope. Everybody loves these shoes, man. The material in here is very, very nice. You always hear that shattered backboard material. And to keep it and to keep it quite frank, these are comparable to me. These are honestly comparable to the. Uh, to the pine greens in the cases of leather leather quality now people say this is the best leather. maybe some pairs like i said with jordan brand you can get one pair that's super soft super buttery you might have some pair that's just a little less soft than the other now this is still great material all around all around the shoe it's completely soft completely nice but it's not like i don't know i guess i just expect it you know hearing about it for so many years i guess i expect it to just i don't know melt literally or something but man super dope y'all know about it you heard about it last shoe and I hate to end y'all off with a hype beast shoe. Oh, dang. Anyways, man, we got the Jordan 6 Travis Scott. It's so nice to finally have a pair of a Travis Scott collab in my collection. I really, really want the ones. I was supposed to wear the ones as my prom shoe. Like I said, I'm making an exception for the DB. I mean, for the uh, for the Carmines. But I really, really wanted to wear the Travis Scott's. I mean, the Travis Scott ones. I couldn't get them. I have them now, so... None of that I just said really matters. I have them now. Glow in the dark feature on the bottom. We got the Cactus Jack on the back. This material on here is super dope with that ballistic material that they have on here. And that's like some real duty crap. I feel like if I shoot myself in the foot, nah. Nah. But anyways, man, dope shoe. I threw orange laces in mine just to be a little different, just to complement the orange. Orange is reddish on the back, man. Super, super dope and very, very, very very hype beast this man very hype beast but i ain't gonna lie this is one of them hype beast shoes i feel like it's worth it but hey man that's the collection as of now we do this again in another six months y'all can see the progress of what we have with the shelves and the display box that we have now six months from now we'll see maybe the freaking stacks stack up to the roof maybe we'll have instead of what 11 that i have up here maybe we'll have 20 cover the whole wall i don't know we'll just see what we'll be at the end of the year but until next time we out. That was so long.